All right, people, here is the deck profile for Destiny Heroes. So it's not the best Destiny Hero deck profile, but uh, I worked with it. So you guys voted on it. It was a tag deck. Uh, there's not a lot of the new Destiny Heroes. I didn't feel like it was necessary. I feel like there's two kind of cores that I wanted to go with it. Uh, of course, Destiny Heroes do have easy access to the Ultimaya play, and I didn't really have any deck that was doing Ultimaya on Daily Duel, so we had that. And uh, so despite the new support, one of the best things that Destiny Heroes have is still... Destiny Hero, I mean, well, End Dragoon, Destiny End Dragoon. So I was like, well, we're doing 2007, we're doing 2007 in here. And he wasn't bad. I mean, he's a 3,000 beater stats. He could blow up something. He comes back. Like, he, he, he is a pretty strong monster despite. So uh, that's the way that I base my deck around. So you're not seeing like Celestial because I didn't really plan on having no cards in my hand. Like, if I have no, if I have no cards in my hand and tag, then fucking rip, you know? So that's why I didn't play that. I'll, I'll go into detail about the cards. So. Of course, we're on Triple Dogma and Triple Plasma, so we can go ahead and fuse into that Destiny End Dragon. Like, that's one of the major plays you can do that. And with the high consistency, uh, being able to bust that out, I mean, it's pretty good. So, yeah, so triple each of those. Uh, we run Triple Malicious because you have uh, you have the, the play with uh, Red Resonator. So you got Resonator, and you summon Armageddon Knight, Armageddon Knight, send a Mally, go into Coral Dragon, summon the. Uh, uh, Malicious with malicious effect. You got a level six tuner, a level six non tuner, Ultimaya, and then Quad Dragon will draw you a card. Like it's a, it's such an easy combo, especially with this at three. You have three of these. You have this. You have this. You know, and you just need this in the graveyard. So just really great. Uh, run Triple Prisma because Prisma can of course copy the name of either Dogma Prisma, send it to the graveyard, become that name, and then you fuse with it. So it's simple as that. Uh, so Triple Armageddon Knight for that play, but Armageddon Knight can also send Shadow Mist. As you can see, we are not running any match change or anything along those lines, even though you can go the special summon this and get the search of match change. We're not doing that. This is a Destiny Hero deck, not an Elemental Hero deck, not a Dark Law that deck. So Shadow Mist is literally just being sent to the graveyard to get the search. So uh, I can also go, you know, summon this, summon this, sink into. Coral Dragon. This will go to the graveyard because uh, I didn't use the other effect to get the search, search for malicious, twin twister, pitch the malicious, and then there you go. There's the ultimate play right there. So uh, we run triple Blazeman because Blazeman, he can either, when he's normal summon, he can add a poly, which is great, or he can send Shadow Miss and uh, get the search. So, you know, Blazeman just does both, just Blazeman. Uh, we run Triple King with Swamp, and I, for some reason, I'm not sure if you guys can go ahead and correct me. I know, you know, Mr. Dueling Network, he can go ahead and correct me on this, but. Can I use this as a fusion substitute? It says you can substitute this card for any one fusion material monster, right? Can't I use it for this? Or a fusion summon of this card can only be done with the above fusion materials. So I guess I don't get to copy the name. I guess that's it. I guess that's it because it can only be done with the fusion materials and it doesn't become the name. Huh, okay, okay. I think I think I figured it out myself. So I can't fuse with King of Swamp, but I can search Polly with it. I mean, I guess you really don't need King of Swamp. You could probably take him out for something else now. But I mean he does still search for Polly, but I, I I thought that you could use him as a fusion material a substitute because the names are listed. But it says a fusion summon this card can only be used with the above fusion monsters. So I guess he cannot become that name during you know, because he comes the name during the fusion process, but you cannot even conduct the fusion process because the name is not listed on uh, well it's not there yet because it has to be the with the material so unlike plasma where he's like all right i become the name i'm ready to fuse this is like hey i can substitute but this card says no you can't so oops <laughs> so i guess i mean it still searches poly so it's not terrible so i guess you don't need king of the swap but yeah you can take this out for something else i don't know maybe like some actual backer or something maybe like triple strike or something sure why not yeah let's uh, i guess we can go ahead and do a change now go ahead and just take this out and replace it with like triple solemn strike or something solemn strike yep. Changing the deck as we as we did the deck profile. We can probably drop this down to two because it gets cloggy at three, and then we'll just throw in a solemn morning. There we go. Solemn brigade. There we go. Throw it in every day. Um, triple poly. You know, triple poly. You got the poly. This can search poly. You got the poly. Fuse it up. Going to this. Uh, two. Like I said, it was at three, but like I said it was getting cloggy where I drawn to multiple of this and multiple of this. So two of this for three of this. Make sure you get that so you can do the ultimate play. The run because there's plenty of warriors like you, 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 you. So Roto. Uh, fusion Conscription is really good. You can reveal a monster from extra deck and then grab the materials. Like, you can only fusion summon for the turn. You cannot normal summon a special summon once you add. Like, I'm going to plan on really normal summoning a special summon Dogma or Plasma. Maybe Plasma, but not Dogma. Um, and then I can grab that monster and I can fuse it up. So it's just a searcher for my searcher. Yeah, a searcher for my materials. It's good. Triple Turn Twister, pop the back row. And then the Solemn Brigade, because I just threw it in there right now, as you saw. Um, 
We run Triple Destiny Endragon because he's the main guy you'll go into. We run one of the new Destiny Hero guys, so I actually get to see one new guy, uh, the Deadly guy, because uh, during a push turn I can discard cards and send one Destiny Hero monster from my hand to the graveyard so I can like discard Shadow Mist and then send Malicious, get the search. Then Malicious be in the graveyard, summon Malicious. I can banish Malicious, summon Malicious. This is level 6, this is level 6, go into rank 6, put on Strat Bombs. Two Ultimaias. Uh, Ultimaya can summon me um, Hot Red, it can summon me Scrap Dragon, of course Crystal Meth, Void Ogre, and Beals. Uh, two Coral Dragons in case I do it twice, it's just fine. And then Castell because I have some fours in here, so you know, it's, it's one of the go to fours. And I didn't really have time or room to put Utopia on Utopia Lightning, so I went to Castell instead. So there we go, there's the Destiny Hero deck. It's like I said, it's not the best deck, it's not the greatest deck. Like, I definitely say, if you're gonna play it singles, you should run like Celestial and you know, stuff like that. But I mean, I want to go if you're gonna go Destiny Heroes, so I'm like, well, it can do it have easy access to also my play, it's easy access to the Destiny uh, End Dragoon, so let's we'll go that route for uh, the tag deck on Daily Duels. And like I said, keep mine into tag deck, so there we go. So anyway, uh, be sure to see the other Daily Duels where I play with Zephyrus. If you haven't already, it's also uploaded as well. Uh, I will also see you guys tomorrow. A deck profile for Chemical Beast, and I will be playing with uh, Ancient Gears. Ancient Gears. So look forward to that. All right, people. Thanks for watching.